morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning. Parang wala po tayong lakas ngayon. Good morning, my brothers and sisters. Good morning. Napaganda po ng umagang ito dahil nakakasama po natin ang bawat isa. Di po ba? Amen? Amen. Indeed, kahit po pagod tayo sa pang araw araw na buhay, it is so wonderful to refresh, to be renewed by our Lord God. Alam po natin na sa Kanya po nanggagaling ang ating kalakasan. Di po ba? Amen. Let us come and Let us read this passage first in Exodus chapter 15 verse 2. Sabay-sabay po natin. Basahin. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise Him. My Father's God and I will exalt Him. Isa pa nga po. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God I will praise Him, my Father's God, and I will exalt Him. Amen. Amen. Let us come and praise our Lord God, for He is our strength, our defense, our salvation. Let us come for Him. Thank you so much, Lord, because you are here with us, Lord. You are here, Lord. Your presence is with us, Lord, this morning. We thank you, Lord, Father God, for the gift, the free gift of salvation that you have for every one of us. Lord, you are worthy to be praised.
everlasting forever, Lord. Nothing will separate us, Lord, from your love. Then, Lord, power, nothing in this world, Lord, will separate us, Lord, from your love, Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord. This is our response, Lord, Father God. We need you, Lord. We love you, Lord Jesus. Help us, Lord. Strengthen us, Lord. We need, Lord, renew our strength, Lord. Help us, Lord, every day, Lord. We've been reminded of the great love you did for every one of us, Lord. Lord, marami salamat, Lord Jesus. Kayo pong aming kalakasan, Panginoon, Lord. There is no one like you, Jesus. Lord, maaring, Lord, kami po'y nakakaharap, Lord Jesus, ng maraming bagyo, Panginoon, sa aming buhay, Lord. But one thing we know, Lord, your love help us to be strong, Lord. Your love help us to remain, Lord, in your love, Jesus. We thank you so much, Lord. May you continue to help us, Lord. Lead us and guide every one of us, Lord. Show us, Lord, your truth, Lord. Indeed, we are strong, Lord. We are courageous because you are here by our side, Lord. We are victorious, Jesus. We are with you, Lord. Lord, we all honor, praise, and glory be unto you, Lord Jesus. We love you, Lord. We love to worship you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. You may take your seats. Umaga po sa bawat isa. Napakabuti po na Panginoon sapagkat narito po tayo umaawit, sumasamba at niluluwalhati siya. Amen po ba? Amen. Let us open our bulletin and we could found the needs and concern of our church. Uh, this month is our spiritual encounter month. And let us focus to allow the Holy Spirit to touch us in a new and exciting way as He transforms us in our lives And our scripture memory verse, we could find it in 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Let us read together. Do not love the world or anything that belongs to the world. If you love the world, you do not love the Father. 1 John chapter 2, verse 15. Kamusta na po tayo sa ating for today fast and prayer? Okay po ba? Wala pong sumasagot. Uh, we are on the third week for our 40 day fast and prayer it is for our sanctification in a, we are required to fast for a day for three meals once in a week kahit isang beses lang po sa isang linggo ang hinihiling po ng fasting natin and through this fasting we will be able or, uh, we will be able to read and repent the, the booklet na binigay po sa atin repent, renew and revive booklet Let us read that every day, even na uh, hindi po tayo nagka-fasting. It is a guidelines po para sa atin to renew our mind, to, um, to grow in our spiritual life. And we request also for our brothers and sisters that if you have time or hindi lang po time talaga sa panahon, you are willing to attend this prayer meeting. We encourage you to attend in this prayer meeting and to share the special work of God in our lives through this every cell group po. If kung sino po ang wala po mga cell group, we suggest and we encourage you to join a cell group. Meron po tayong tatlong cell group, two cell group every Fridays, isa po sa bahay ni Diana, and the other one is dito po sa church. And Sunday, we have a cell group in our church uh, after the worship celebration. And next week, meron po tayong prayer retreat, uh, October 22, 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Uh, we encourage you to join this prayer retreat para po ma-ignite the fire of God that is um, within us as we fast and pray for sanctification. And bring. we suggest that you bring your cell phone and earphone. Bring your cell phone and your earphone. Medyo 
kakaiba po tong prayer retreat na to. Um, and also, we pray for our leaders and pastors and cell leaders of this church as they meet on Sunday, October 23 at 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. Let us stand and let us pray for the needs and concern of our church. Una po, let us pray for ourselves to thank God for all the blessing, for all the grace that He has given us. Pangalawa po, let us pray for ourselves as we also fast and pray. And to the upcoming prayer retreat na magagana po next Saturday, that we open our hearts and our minds that we will be able to receive the word of God to our lives. Pangapat po, ay pangatlo po, let us also pray for our pastors, leaders of the church as they plan for the next year uh, planning for our church and fourth po, as we hear the word of God, let us receive it and apply it in our hearts um, tapakabuti po ng Panginoon sa pagkat sa araw-araw natin buhay siya po ay nasa tabi natin every head bow, every eyes close. Let us pray together with a loud voice. Almighty Father, we worship you and we give you praise for you are our Father who is merciful and your loving kindness is everlasting. Heavenly Father, thank you for who we are today is because of your grace. You loved us and you sent your only Son, Jesus Christ. He who no sin became a sinner, he suffered bore God's anger took away our weaknesses and carried out our diseases and Father here we are your children we receive and believe in your divine favor our God's greatest gift of grace your son Jesus Christ our Lord and Savior our Redeemer our Redeemer and through Him we receive the salvation and we are a new creation in Christ. Father, we pray for our post for today fast and prayer and in our coming prayer retreat, we ask and pray that you, that we may go deeper and go nearer into your presence to experience a breakthrough and a transformation in our lives. Mold us to be a person who you want us to be. For you are our potter and we are your clay. Help us to do your will and to obey your words. To be a doer and not just a hearer. And Father God, we leave our pastors and leaders of this church you have given them 
different talents and gifts. Use them to be a vessel of your words. To shepherd more sheep. To bring out people out from the darkness and lead them to the words of truth. Into your light, into your glorious light. We pray, Father, for our pastor, anoint his lips. As you, as you yourself reveal to him, through him, we pray, Father God, that in every trial, in every struggles, you will lead us, Lord. Help us not to be faint or even if we face trials, we will not go out from your, from your words, Father God. We ask and pray, Father God, the true trials help us not to be tempted, won't be tested, not to give in to temptation or stumble for in our weakness you will make us strong for no obstacle is bigger than our God for in every trial and struggle it helps us to maturity it helps us to grow in our spiritual life it helps us to keep in touch to go deeper in our relation with our Father. It helps us to know the purpose of life to the knowledge and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. For He is generous to those who devoted Himself to Him. We welcome you, Holy Spirit. Teach us, lead us, guide us, and help us to live a holy life. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for you always hear and answers our prayer. In this we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Let us open our Bible in the letter of James. The letter from James. Chapter 1, verse 12 to 18. James, chapter 1, verse 12 to 18. Let us read together. Happy are those who remain faithful under trials, because when they succeed in passing such a test, they will receive as their reward the life which God has promised to those who love him, if we are tempted by such trials, we must not say, This temptation comes from God, for God cannot be tempted by evil, and He Himself tempts no one. But we are tempted when we are drawn away and trapped by our own evil desires. Then our evil desires conceive and give birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my dear friends. Every good gift and every perfect present comes from heaven. It comes down from God. The creator of the heavenly rights, who does not change or cause darkness by turning. By his own will, he brought us into being through the word of truth, so that we should have first place among his creature. May God bless the reading and the hearing of his word. We may now take our seats and let us welcome our Reverend Joseph Chua as he share, watch out for temptation. Good morning, brothers and sisters. We thank God in spite of yung ulan, we could always come before the Lord in worship, knowing that God is here among us. Uh, this week, uh, we are uh, entering into our third week, pang third week na natin, yung 40 days of fast and prayer. Okay, I don't know what happened to you these past two weeks. 
Okay, how are you doing with your fasting and with your praying? I know uh, it is a very tough challenge for most of us kasi, you know, we are not accustomed to not eating and then to spend uh, extended time of prayer. But I believe that whenever we come before God in, uh, no matter in fasting and in praying, ang ibig sabihin is we are positioning ourselves wherein we allowed God to work in us. Okay. You know, God wants to change us. God wants to speak to us. But a lot of times, busy tayo. And uh, we don't have a lot of time to allow Him to look at what is inside and to touch what is inside and at the same time to work in our lives in a way na there would be some changes. Okay? We would grow as a Christian and that we would be more godly okay, in our ways. And so this is a good opportunity. Every year, meron tayong yan. And so that's why we encourage everyone. Okay, you just, uh, just uh, parang yung mga uh, sinuusot natin ng mga rubber shoes, di ba? Anong sabi? Just do it. <laughs> Nike, di ba? Just do it. Anong ibig sabihin? We go in, we try it. Pag hindi gumana, then we try it again. Kaya nga, every time I'm uh, encouraging you to try and try until you succeed. Okay, so try and try until you succeed. O kaya, wala pa rin, try and try until you die. Okay, because we would be doing this for the whole of our life. So church natin, every year, meron tayong 40 days na for us to enter into this. I thank God for this uh, past two weeks. Okay, it has been very helpful for me as I uh, spend time fasting and praying. You know, I feel something different. Uh, I believe God has something that He has done in my life. I feel more peaceful and rest and then... Uh, I experience a uh, more relaxed, stable, and as much as a more uh, yung firmness within inside me. Okay, so I believe that all of us, when we go into this fasting, God is going to do something to help us as we uh, face yung mga challenges sa buhay natin pang araw-araw. Ha? So why not encourage the person beside you? Sabi niyo sa katabi niyo. Okay, you need to go and fast and pray. Ah. Uh, uh, I, I heard a lot of people now. Okay, okay, let me share with you something that I na experienced good in. You know, when I was fasting, I fast for two days, uh, Wednesday and Thursday. Okay, and so usually Wednesday it's much okay. Na last yung first week, pagdating ng second uh, second day, uh, Thursday, uh, when I was fasting and then uh, lumampas ng uh, lunch, and then uh, I started to feel yung uh, kwan, sakit ng ulo, headache. So what I do? I know one thing. When I feel something, yung uh, headache, you know, if I don't do anything about it, gagrabe yan. Okay. So what did I do is, kumala, kumuha ako ng, pink, ng uh, biscuits, and I eat, uh, eat some biscuits, and after that, I take a medicine, yung uh, Panadol. Okay. And so it helps me to go through until okay, that, yung, uh, that night. Okay. So in, uh, in that process, whenever we encounter something, you know, we could always... Uh, have something to do. Pwede pa natin. But the most important thing is go in and try it. And then let God do something marvelous in our lives. Okay? Now to stir up yung uh, spirit of worship, uh, prayer natin. So this coming Saturday, we would have a prayer retreat. Huh? Now what we'll be doing in prayer retreat, of course, if it is a prayer retreat, anong dapat nang ginagawa? Prayer. So we will be spending a time, a lot of time, personal prayer that we come before the Lord. Okay. So it would be something that is, uh, I believe, uh, would be able to help us, and something that is new, and that would be uh, uh, help us encounter God in a new and mighty way. Now we ask you to bring your cell phone and then your uh, headphone, di ba? Earphone. Okay. Uh, this is uh, in case pag walang mga uh, complication, so we would be using it. But if there is some complication to we have what we are, uh, are preparing maybe uh, we could go to yung normal natin okay in here and then we would be uh, fa- prayer pray together in this place okay so let us uh, pray th- uh, for this and prepare our hearts to come and experience god okay uh, so this is our uh, prayer retreat okay now this month we are uh, talking about a theme growing in no Godliness. Okay, ito yung team natin. Growing in godliness. How can we be more and more like Jesus? You know, in our faith as we believe in Jesus Christ, you know, the most important thing is not only uh, 
attending and having something that we could be able to hear or to listen to. But rather, we want that our lives is being changed to be more and more like Jesus. And so we are learning how to grow in godliness. To be more godly means to be more like Jesus in every way. Sa pananalita natin, pag-iisip natin, yung mga ginagawa natin, all of this, you know, we would be able to be more and more conformed to the Lord. So, uh, this uh, we have been speaking about this topic uh, for the last two weeks, diba? We speak about grace that is available for us, for us to be able to uh, face yung mga weaknesses natin. And last week, we speak about growing in godliness sa pag-iisip natin. Okay? So, we need to think about holy thing. Okay? Think things above. Okay? So, this today, I want to share with you okay, this topic, uh, watch out for temptation. Okay, watch out for temptation. Okay. All of us, I believe, temptation is not very, uh, it's familiar to us. All of us face temptation in one way or the other, right? Especially this, uh, uh, this 40 days as we are going through fasting and praying. The most uh, greatest temptation, ano? Pagkain. <laughs> you know, there's uh, some people na, you know, in this fasting week, okay, lagi nilang tinitignan yung cellphone nila, yung mga pagkain. Ah, sarap nito, ah, sarap nito, ah. Okay, so that is what fasting brings. Uh, make food more delicious. Okay, so uh, we will be speaking about this. Watch out for temptation. Let's go back again to the passage that we have read kanina. So James 1, 12 to 18. Now, this is a very important passage because it shows us something about what is happening or where does this temptation come and how do we be able to face them or overcome yung mga temptations sa buhay natin. Okay. So let's go again back to this. If you have your Bible, you open it. If not, you uh, read together with me in this uh, sa screen natin. But I uh, encourage na, you know, if you have your Bible, it is better because you could underline a lot of mga magaganda. If God speaks to you through that passage, you could uh, underline it and you could be able to find it also. Okay. Uh, let's all read together from uh, verse 12. Okay. Happy are those who remain faithful under trial. Because when they succeed in passing such a test, they will receive as the reward the life which God has promised to those who love Him. If we are tempted by such trials, we must not say, This temptation comes from God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, and He Himself tempts no one. But we are tempted when we are drawn away and trapped by our own evil desires. Then our evil desires conceive and give birth to sin. And sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Do not be deceived, my dear friends. Every good gift and every perfect present comes from heaven. It comes down from God, the creator of heavenly lights, who does not change or cause darkness by turning. By his own will, he brought us into being through the word of truth, so that we should have first place among all his creation. Okay, may God bless the reading and the hearing of His Word. Okay. Today, I want to share with you from this passage. Now, if you have your Bible or you have read, okay, uh, we have uh, read from uh, verse 12 to 18, diba? If you started from verse uh, 2 okay, to 11, you would find out that James has written to the church and he speaks about one topic. Okay, if you look at it, it is about trial. Okay. It is about trial. James said that sa buhay natin, marami mga trial, pagsubok. A lot of trial that comes in our lives in different, different ways. And this is so, every one of us would be able to meet it. Okay. It is something that is part of our lives. And so he tell us a lot of things about this, how we could be able to face yung trials natin, and how we would be able to stand firm sa trials that comes to our lives. And then in the last, okay, he concluded itong uh, topic about uh, about trials in verse 12 okay if you look at verse 12 this conclusion of what he have said from verse 2 sa verse 11 ano sinabi niya sabi niya happy are those who remain faithful under trials because when they succeed in passing such a test they will receive as the reward the life which god has promised to those who love him okay and so here okay james said that if we pass the test if we stand firm Although may mga pagsubok, but we were able to stand firm in our faith and we never give up and we continued pa rin in living a godly life. Here, he promised that we will receive yet what? Receive a uh, reward, the life which God has promised to those who love Him. Another translation is called the crown of life. Na ano itong crown of life? Di ba? 
uh, uh, corona, okay, crown of life. Itong corona na to, it, uh, it always symbolizes what? It always symbolizes an honor that we get from the Lord. And so whenever we stand trials and then we never give up and we go through it and then we live out this uh, life that God has given to us, there would be a reward that will be given to us, a life honor that God will give to us. Honor. Okay, whenever God honors us, He bless us richly. Okay. And so after that, he started to speak again with another topic. Okay, if you look at verse uh, verse uh, 13, sabi niya, no? If we are tempted by such trial, okay? So he still start to speak about temptation, okay? He start to speak about yung temptation, okay? Now, in this temptation, uh, about how do we feel, uh, 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 see this temptation, where does it come, or how do we overcome temptation, okay? Now, I want just to, you, for you to uh, uh, take note Okay, the word trial sa Bible natin na, ah, and the word temptation, actually parehong sang word lang yun. In the original language, you know, James used the same word. But when we translate it, okay, it has two meaning. One is either trial, or another is either it is a temptation. Na ano kaibhan ng trial sa ka temptation? Okay, so uh, trial, okay, okay, this is what the trial is all about. Trial is to do with outward events. Yung mga nangyayari sa natin, paligid natin. Okay? That God allowed in our life that produces spiritual perfection and strength, strengthen our faith. God allows problems to come our lives. God allows a lot of mga different circumstances. For, uh, no, hindi, uh, in order for us to be able to be strengthened in our faith, it is like an exercise. Whenever this come, and then we have opportunity of uh, facing them, and it will produce what it will produce spiritual perfection as well as it will help us to grow in our spiritual life. For example, if you look at the Bible, there was a character, uh, a person by the name of Job, di ba? Alam natin. Job was what he experienced some outward uh, na nangyari sa buhay niya. Uh, yung uh, anak niya lahat na matay, and then yung ari ari niya lahat na wala, and so he was there suffering a lot. Okay, and through these trials that God has allowed in his life, ano nangyari is, he become more matured. And on the last part, uh, Job said to God, sabi niya, noon naririnig lang kita, but ngayon na-experience ko na kita. Okay, I've seen you in my life. A experience, personal experience of God in his life that added. And then after that, he goes through this trial. What did God do? God bless him. God honors him and God bless him more than yung mga ari-arian niya noon and then God gave him a lot of uh, children also and so in the latter life of Job he experienced honor from God okay so this is what we call by trial God allows it in our lives uh, circumstances para ano so that we would be able to train ourselves that our faith would be strong and that we would be perfected and grow in our Christian life now say ito yung trial God allows it now what about temptation naman the same word temptation has to do with inward impulses yung mga gusto natin, yung mga desires natin. It is an inward impulses or inclination na, ay, ito gusto ko. That seek to promote, produce sin and destroy faith. Okay? So, these things is inside us and then uh, we would be feeling something na, ay, gustong gusto ko niyan. Na strong desires, it becomes, ano, lust. Yung lust na sinasabi natin is, it is a strong desire that yung desire natin control lahat ng bagay that uh, if we don't get it we will not be able to live our life so no matter what it is no matter how what we do it dapat makuha ko yung isang bagay na yun. so it become a last it becomes something that uh, we would do everything no matter it is right or wrong and that it will always produce sin and at the end it will destroy yung faith natin Okay, so this is the theme to do different things, different perspective. Maybe God allows one thing to test us or to train our faith, but at the same time, it comes from Satan. Ang, uh, ang kwanya is to destroy yung faith natin sa loob. So this is a two different thing. Now, after speaking about trials that comes from God, right now, James told them about uh, yung uh, temptation okay, that we all experience and we are facing. Okay, so what do we do about temptation? If you look at the passage, di ba? Sabi niya, uh, okay, okay. The Bible tells, uh, sabi niya uh, ni James, sabi niya in verse 13, if we are tempted, okay, temptation comes, how do we face it as Christian? Okay. So, tonight, uh, this morning, I want to share with you, okay, two parts. Okay, first is, 
we need to understand kung ano itong temptation na to. Okay? Uh, how to understand temptation? First is, let us define kung ano yung temptation. Okay? Temptation is the act of being enticed or being seduced. Okay? Or being led away or drugged away, drawn away from where we are, or to be baited to do wrong by the promise of pleasure or gain. So it is a desire wanting us to do something so that we could get it. But this uh, act of doing it, alam natin, mali. But then, ginagawa pa rin natin. So it comes from inside the desires that we have. So we are being seduced to this. We are being drawn away from where we are. We are being dragged, pulling us, us uh, toward itong bagay na to. Knowing that, although mali, parang, pero alam natin, behind that, it is something na ano, maganda. Is something that uh, the promise of we could be able to experience pleasure or we could gain something from it. Okay, so this is what we call by temptation. For example, okay, there are a lot of uh, temptation that uh, we encounter every day. Okay, so uh, temptation. For example, we are tempted to lie, nagsinungaling, or to cheat other. In order for us to gain something, isn't it? Uh, if we don't lie papagalitan tayo. If we lie, at least hindi nila alam na kung anong nangyari. We gain something. Okay? Or, uh, when we are tempted to gossip, okay, or to hold grudges, or overeating, okay, or we steal something. Okay? So, those are some temptation that always there na gusto natin gawin, alam natin mali, but when we do it, you know, it gives us some uh, pleasure and we gain something from it. So, this is what we call by temptation. It is all negative part of it. Okay? So, knowing that this uh, the, the, the definition of temptation, let us go to what uh, James has been speaking about. He gave us something, okay, basic truth that we would be able to understand ano itong temptation na to. What is this temptation? Okay. First, let us look at the Bible. It says that temptation is universal. If you look at verse 13, di ba? Sabi niya, if we are tempted by such trials, if we are tempted, so, James assumed that all of us, all of those who read yung books, yung letter niya, they have gone through this temptation. And from our own experience, you know, we are always tempted, is it? From uh, malit pa tayo, marami ng temptation. Tempted to eat something na ayaw ng mga magulang. I remember my kids, you know, uh, we always prohibit them from eating mga candy before, before lunch or before dinner. A lot of parents would do this. Okay? So, there was one time, uh, they were in my office, okay? And then, biglang nawala. So, hindi ko alam kung saan pumunta. And then, mayroong isang tao na uh, colleagues that came to me and said, eh, yung anak mo, nasa likod ng uh, was, ano yung, copier machine. Anong ginagawa? Kumakain ng candy. <laughs> you know, so, someone gave, gave in, nakatago, and then he was eating it. Okay? He was being tempted and he did it. Okay? Oh, so, even maliit man or sino man tayo or whatever we are, you know, temptation is always there, isn't it? We are tempted Pag nakita natin, uh, we are late, and then nakita natin red light, ano? We have this temptation na dip na bale. Okay, we just go on. So, all of us have this temptation and we experience. It is universal. Okay? No matter uh, where we are or who we are, we are always uh, encounter temptation. Okay? So, this is what uh, James said. It is universal. Second, uh, about temptation is, it doesn't come from God. If you look at verse 13, sabi niya, if we are tempted by such trials, we must not say, this temptation comes from God. For God cannot be tempted by evil, and He Himself tempts no one. Okay? So, never, okay, temptation is never come from God. A lot of times, sinasabi na, oh, tinetempt tayo ni God. No, God never tempts us. Because temptation is something that has to do with evil. And our God is not an evil God, but He is a holy God. And that's why uh, temptation has nothing to do with Him. A lot of times when we experience something, di ba, we would come back and say, Lord, bakit mo ginawa to? Or God, why, why, this, why does this happen to me? As if, kasalanan ng Diyos. We are always blaming God for everything. But, you know, whatever happened, whatever things that, uh, that happened to us, it has nothing to do with God. It is not the fault of God. Okay? But a lot of times, it is our own fault. Okay? So, temptation doesn't come from God. Now, if it doesn't come from God, saan galing yan? Temptation is born out of our sinful desire. If you look at this passage in 14, sabi niya, no? Let's all read together. But we are tempted when we are drawn away and trapped by our own evil desires. If our evil desires nandun, gusto gusto natin, okay, it would draw us away from where we are, from the right things to do, or it trap us so that wala na tayong magawa 
just to we we would uh, indulge in this uh, desires that we have even though alam natin mali pero it is strong enough that it draw us away it trap us wala tayong magawa but to do the things and so it always is uh, born out of what our sinful desires yung gusto natin okay so a lot of times diba gusto ko yun gusto ko niyan so yung gusto is always driving force where you know the temptation will come upon us okay it is that desire okay uh, because of that desire the temptation was born if we are not tempted if we don't have that desire you know walang problema diba okay if you are not uh, uh, for example you're not uh, you don't care about mga brand okay so anumang brand ang uh, sinusuot o kaya anumang cellphone you don't care about those things you know pag mayroong mga bago dan diyan you know it will not attract you nothing would attract you it will not be a temptation but if you're a person who is uh, very uh, concerned about ano yung sinusuot mo o kaya ano yung ginagamit mo o kaya ano yung meron sa iba na wala ka you know you would what be tempted to spend a lot of money na hindi mo kaya or to do something that is illegal so that you'd be able to have it Okay, so it is born out of a sinful desire. Fourth, about temptation. Temptation always leads to death. Whenever we allow temptation sa buhay natin, and it breeds birds, it will always lead to, to death. So here it says, Then our evil desires, when it conceives and gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is full grown, gives birth to death. Parang konyan, he used, James used a pregnant woman. That when he is pregnant, Okay? So, yung pregnancy na uh, parang uh, desire that, uh, that uh, has been conceived and then we allowed it there. And then when we started to do it, okay, it becomes, uh, we, we born, uh, meron na pinanganak and that is what, that is become sin. And that sin would lead to death. Na ano ibig sabihin yung death? For us Christians, death doesn't mean to say we lose our salvation. Death doesn't mean to say we cannot go to heaven when we die. Death doesn't mean to say when we did something you know, uh, when we sin, then we are not forgiven or we go to hell. No. Death in this way is a no. Because the penalty of death, binayaran na ng Diyos. Okay? Jesus had paid for our, our the punishment of, uh, uh, of our sin, which is death. Now, itong death na sinasabi nito, it is a separation from God. It is a separation, a separation of our fellowship with God. Okay? Whenever we sin, you know, you would feel that God is far away from you. Okay, you cannot relate with him. There's something that is uh, between you. It's like any relationship. Uh, no matter it is your spouse or your uh, parents or your children. Whenever you have some conflict with, the, with them, ano, you feel ano, parang there's a separation, isn't it? You are being separated. Okay? And then that the fellowship, parang may ano, okay, there's something that uh, is in the middle. So this is what happened. So when this desire is conceived, it always leads to death. We will not be able to experience God in our life. So this is uh, what James teaches about temptation. Okay. Now in this uh, temptation, if temptation, uh, sabi nga natin eh, if temptation is universal, all of us we, we we would face it. Temptation doesn't come from God, but it is born out of our sinful desires, which all of us may run. And this temptation, if we let it exist, it would bring to death. Okay, brings death. So how do we overcome itong temptation na to? How are we going to overcome the many temptations that we meet in our daily life? Okay, today I want to share with you some three things through this passage. How we could be able to uh, experience, uh, uh, to overcome okay, itong temptation that always hunt us in everyday life. Okay. Now the first thing we need to come back to the Bible is when we look at what uh, James told us. In verse 13, di ba? Sabi niya, okay, in verse 13, he said, if we are tempted by such trial, when uh, it tells us that temptation is part of our lives, it is universal, and every day, nandiyan yan eh. So if nandiyan yan every day, how do we face it? How do we overcome it? The first thing we need to do in order to overcome it, we need to what? We need to be alert at all time. Dapat lagi tayong alert. We don't need to think about, na, ah, walang mangyayari sa atin to. You know, Temptation is always there. Temptation comes from a lot of sources. It comes from our own mga uh, evil desires. It comes from Satan. It comes from this world. And it would always come every day marami yan. Okay. And in fact, the Bible tells us, okay, if you look at a passage in the Bible from uh, 1 Peter 5.8, let's all read together. Be alert, be on watch. Your enemy, the devil, roams around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. 
The Bible describes Satan, our enemy, the devil, Anusha. He is like a roaring lion. Okay? So a roaring lion who rooms, ano in rooms? Laglalakad siya. He would always go uh, walking uh, everywhere looking for someone to, ano, to devour. And so this is where we face. Satan has been, always been working so that he would be able to tempt us to sin so that we would be able to forsake our faith. And so, lahat ng bagay, he would be looking, he would be always be attentive, uh, attentive in doing that. And so, for us as Christians, we need to always be alert, knowing that every day, it is a spiritual battle. And so, if we know that Satan is looking for us, is looking every way to tempt us, then we need to be alert, we need to be ready to face kung ano man itong uh, uh, temptation that he would be giving us. We need to be aware of it. Okay. Uh, it is like a husband. You know, he become very, very sweet lover whenever he would accompany his wife to shopping mall. Pag naglalakad sila shopping mall, he would become very romantic, okay? very loving, very sweet, na in a way that he would always hold the hands of yung wife niya tightly. Laging naka, naka hold the hands. Okay? And so, throughout the, yung, uh, nila, the, the way he would be there accompanied yung wife niya. Someone, okay, one day someone asked the husband and said, eh, bakit lagi ang, whenever you go out with your wife, ang sweet nyo. Especially ikaw. You always hold on to the hands of your wife and then uh, tightly, and then, uh, kung saan man siya pumta, nasa tabi ka, and then you always accompany. And the husband said, of course, kailangan kong hawakan yung kamay para hindi siya bibili ng maraming bagay. Hihilain ko siya so that he will not buy a lot of things. The wife, no, the, the husband know one thing. You know, whenever the, the wife go out, pag nakita niya, ay gusto niya yan, ano, bibili na. A lot of temptation is there. And so he would be ready. Pag nakita na, you know, okay, okay. He would just, hihilain na lang para hindi na pumasok doon. And so, hindi na bibili. So, this is what we call by always being alert. Now, for us, you know, these two years, we have learned these things. Being alert, isn't it? Because of this COVID, no matter where we go, ano, Nakamas tayo. And even right now, when the government said na parang itatanggal na yung mas, okay. But even though the uh, the government is uh, uh, are are planning to, uh, pwede nang hindi magmas, maybe sa labas or whatever it is. You know, a lot of people ano pa rin, We don't do this. Why? Because we know that everywhere nandun pa rin, ano, yung virus from BA one, BA two, naging BA four, BA five. Ngayon ano na? BA seven na. And then after two months, baka mag- magiging BA9 na, 10, 12, 14, 20. So, parang cellphone na yun, di ba? <laughs> Samsung 10, <laughs> Samsung 20, 21, 22. Okay. And so, the virus is always there. And we know what it means. Whenever we go, we know that there is danger there, maybe. And so, all of us are very alert. We would always put up our mask and we would be very, very careful. Okay. So, we know how to be alert with this virus. But may God help us to know that, you know, every day, nandun yung temptation. If we are not uh, uh, careful with it, you know, we would fall into this temptation. Like, pinag-usapan natin si David, isn't it? The night that, uh, the day that he should be fighting, he did not go, and then nasa taas, uh, he was looking at yung scenery, and then he saw someone uh, taking a bath, yun, temptation na yun. And so, he was not aware of it. He was not ready for it. And that is why he falls into this temptation. Whenever we don't know, whenever we are not aware, it is easy for us to fall into those temptations. So, the first thing is, we need to be alert at all time. Because, you know, Satan is working. He is always trying to tempt us so that we would be uh, sinning against God and that it would destroy the faith natin. Now, the second thing that we need to do in order for us to face the uh, temptation natin, how to overcome temptation. Okay, let us look at the passage that we have read okay, uh, that uh, sinabi ni James about where it comes from and the process of this temptation. In verse 14 to 15, let's all read together. But we are tempted when we are drawn away and trapped by our own evil desires. Then our evil desires conceive and give birth to sin and sin when it is full grown gives birth to death. Now this is the process. It always starts with what? Yung desires natin. Whenever we see something, whenever we hear something, you know, there's always that desire, okay, that is in us. And most of our desire, if we want to be honest, it is what we call by uh, sinful desire. 
It is a desire that we want something more than meron tayo. It is something that is not right. Of course, there would be a desire that is right, but you know, most of our desires, you know, as not, is not that right. For example, when we see someone na, you know, uh, yung uh, trabaho nila, yung uh, kasama natin, uh, nagpro-promote na, and then we see that there's the desire na, no, dapat ako yun. And we desire to be more than that person. So a lot of times, anong gagawin natin? Unknowingly, maybe, okay, we would pull that person down. Sisirain natin yung tao na yun, or we would do something na hindi ma-promote. You know, this is a lot of times, although we don't say it, but it is in our hearts. You know, as pastor, I experienced this, I struggle with it. In the church, you know, we have a lot of mga pastors. And then whenever I see someone na mas magaling sa akin, you know, uh, there's that desire come and said, ay, bakit siya mas magaling? Mamaya eh, uh, siya na yung ma-recognize, hindi ako. And so, in my heart, although I don't do anything, but in my heart, whenever I see na nagkamali siya, parang, oh, oh yan, yan, di ba? Uh, mas magaling ako, tignan mo, mali naman siya. I don't say it, but it is in my heart. Nandun yun eh. get yung desires to be better than other people, uh, a desires uh, for envying other people. And so, whenever we allow this, it will come out something uh, it would bear out what? An action. When we want something badly, we will do it, di ba? No matter what it takes. Mali man o tama man, we don't care. And so, when we do it, then it becomes a sin. And when sin is full grown, okay, we sin against God and then our relationship with God has been affected. Okay? So, this is the process na. It all starts with, with our desire. So, if it is our desire, dapat anong gawin natin dito sa desire natin? We need to control it. We need to be able to control yung desire natin. But how do we control yung desires that is in us? Especially we know that it is an evil desire. And so the second thing we need to face, okay, it is that we need to walk with the Holy Spirit. Now why is it that we bring the Holy Spirit inside uh, to deal with yung desires natin? Remember in uh, Galatians 5.16, okay, a very important passage for us whenever we struggle with our desire that we need. Okay, let's all read together. Sabi niya, what I say is this, let the Spirit direct your lives and you will not satisfy the desires of the human nature. If the Holy Spirit is directing us, if the Holy Spirit is always with us, then we would be able to control the desires. We will not satisfy kung ano man yung gusto natin. Yes, we are born with desires. But if the Holy Spirit is with us and we walk with the Holy Spirit, dala-dala natin yung Holy Spirit, you know, it will help us to be able to see more clearly kung ano yung importante, kung ano yung hindi importante, and that it would help us to overcome whatever desires that we have. And it will be kept in control. Remember the fruit of the Spirit of God? One of the fruit is ano, self-control. We cannot control ourselves. But the Holy Spirit, yung fruit niya is self-control. Whenever we allow the Holy Spirit to come and to walk together with Him, dala-dala natin, so He will help us to be able to control the desire and we will not carry out or satisfy itong desire na to. You know, for me, even as me as a pastor, you know, I'm same with you. There are a lot of things that uh, when I see it, you know, I like it. But I would always do one thing. Whenever I want something, you know, I would always come before the Lord and said, Lord, gusto ko yun. But, you know, hintayin ko muna. And after a week, walking with Jesus, ano nangyari? You know, your desires, nawawala din. Nawawala. And I know na, you know, this is not uh, something that I need to focus on or I need to pursue. Okay? And uh, normally, generally, those desires would that lie down and it will not affect me. And so, this is what we need to do. We need to walk with the Holy Spirit. Now, what does it mean by to walk with the Holy Spirit? It is always coming and asking the Holy Spirit to come and fill us, to come and be with us, to come and go with us whenever we go. So, whenever we go to, to our work, we need to pray to the Holy Spirit and say, Lord, uh, Holy Spirit, okay, I'm going to work right now. Okay, maraming temptation dun. Lord, help me. Help me and uh, that I would be able to control my desire. Okay? I will not satisfy the desires of this human nature which is sinful that I would be able to hear from you. Whenever we ask from God, God is going to change something in us inside them. So what the Holy Spirit is doing is He will help us, give us strength so that whatever is those negative desires that we have, it will be put under control. 
it will not rise above to affect us or to control us, but rather we will be controlling them. You know this, uh, uh, every year, okay, whenever we come to the month of uh, yung third season natin from uh, uh, September to December, you know for me, that is where I feel the greatest pressure okay, as a pastor. Now why? Okay, one is we have these 40 days, diba? And so there are a lot of things to, 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 to plan, okay, yung direction, and how to pray about it. So I need to spend a lot of time doing this. And plus, you know, by the end of the, the month, we need to be uh, meeting for the planning for next year, 2023 na. So 2023, I need to look at it, uh, yung direction, and then I need to see kung what we are going to do in the coming one year. Okay, so advance one year yan. And then after that, I need, we need to do some yung mga natin, budget natin for the ministry. So there are a lot of works. And you know, it uh, gave me a lot of mga pressure. And especially during this uh, third season, we are going through 40 days. Meron pa tayo yung uh, 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 prayer retreat, isn't it? Now, prayer retreat is also a very uh, big pressure upon me. Because I would always be thinking, Pano ba? What are we going to do? How could I lead okay, yung prayer meeting on, uh, in a way na everyone would be able to experience God? It would work. Okay? And so, there are a lot of ideas would come. So, the pressure would come. Especially last week. Because last night, uh, sa Taipei, umpis na yung uh, prayer retreat. Okay? And so, the last two weeks, you know, is very burdensome. And I said, Lord, paano yan? I cannot think of something. And you know, the pressure of uh, making it work, okay, it becomes greater and greater. But I thank God because of this fasting and praying. These two weeks of fasting and praying for me, it really helps me to check on what I am feeling, yung desires and yung mga negative things that has been coming out and then uh, that has been uh, controlling me or affecting me. And so I remember when uh, there was one, uh, one week, na second week, that I was praying to the Lord. And I said, Lord, paano ba yan? I've been uh, pressured. I don't know what to do. And God told me one thing. So as I come, I asked, Lord, help me. Lord, uh, Holy Spirit, how are you going to work? And in uh, my fasting and praying, you know, God speak to me. And he told me one thing. He said, why do you need to worry about a lot of things? Okay. Ikaw ba yung, uh, is it your work to touch everyone? No, you cannot. Is it you who could make uh, the, the, the all things, okay, no matter the planning or yung uh, mga meeting to, uh, to make it successful, ikaw ba yun? No, wala akong magagawa niyan. I cannot do anything about those. The only thing I do is to be stand here and to be used by God. And God said, if that is the case, then you don't need to worry about it. And He promised me one thing, huh? Okay, the Spirit of God told me one thing. He said, you know, whatever that God has, uh, that, you, that you have come out of your heart, you prayed about it, you seek God, you seek me, and you have some prompting. You just do it, and I'm going to bless it. You just do it. You don't need to fear na, ay, tama ba to? Okay ba to? But rather, whenever you seek and something comes to your heart, you know, I'm going there, and I recognize it, and I will accept it, and I will bless it. And you know, God gave me something. He gave me uh, a, 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 a heart that is very peaceful and stable. And at the same time, you know, it gives me, uh, help me to be more relaxed and then more stable sa, sa inside. Okay, so these few days, you know, I've uh, more, uh, sabi natin, eh, more relaxed and then not being afraid of whatever it is in the ministry because I know, you know, the Holy Spirit is there. He came and he controlled all those negative things of Waiko. That is why I could be able to live out okay, the life of uh, uh, being at ease and then enjoying God in my life. So this is what happened. Whenever we come to the Holy Spirit, we allowed him to come to work in us. He would walk in us and he would help us so that we would not be able to satisfy the desires of human uh, mga nature natin. Yung mga gusto natin, okay, he would be able to give us yung control so that those things that is inside us, okay, not of negative things, will be on check and that I would be able to live in peace, okay, quietness, and confidence in the Lord. Now, so this is something that happened. So, may God help us. You know, every day we face, we see a lot of things that a lot of times affected yung emotion natin. Especially mga negative emotion natin. And those emotions, those desires for something would always drive us to do a lot of things that is not uh, uh, that God doesn't want, 
Okay, that is not pleasing to God. And so, how do we overcome it? It is by coming before God, asking the Holy Spirit to walk with us, to come and help us, and to give us young self-control. Whenever we ask, their God is going to work in our way. So, this is the second thing to overcome temptation not only we need to be alert second we need to walk with the Holy Spirit so that he would be able to help us okay that we will not gratify or satisfy young desires nothing but rather we will be uh, satisfying the desires of God the third thing that we see how do we uh, overcome temptation from uh, pay, uh, uh, verses 17 and 18 let's all read together James said every good gift and every perfect present comes from Heaven, it comes down from God, the creator of heavenly lights, who does not change or cause darkness by turning. By his own will, he brought us into being through the word of truth, so that we should have first place among all his creation. Creature. You know, James tells us one thing important for us. He said that every good gift and perfect present comes from heaven. Lahat ng magaganda, lahat ng perfect na bagay sa buhay natin, it comes from heaven. It doesn't come because we work on it. It doesn't come from our company. It is, does not come from our circumstances. But all of this comes from God. And there's one passage in the Bible that God promised us. Sabi niya, I will never, that God never withhold good things from us. He will always bring good things. Kaya nga sabi, every good gift, lahat na magaganda, perfect for us, every gift, it comes from heaven. It comes from God. And it says it comes down from God, the creator of heavenly light, who does not change or cause darkness to turn him. Whatever God promised, it will never change. It will come to us in his time. And so all good things that he has promised, for example, we have memorized the passage that says, you know, God has a purpose for us, diba? Okay, to bless us to, and to give us a future. Now this would stick. If God will honor it and God is going to uh, to 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 do these things. Whatever he promised, he's going to deliver. Okay. And so, and in 18, Sabiyan, by his own will, he brought us into being through the word of truth so that we should have first place among all his creatures. He wants us to become, have the first place among all of his creatures because we are the young beloved. Niya. And so he would do everything for us to experience him, so uh, to rise up where we are so that we will become first place in everything that God has created. He's working on it. Okay, ibig sabihin, all of us, we would be first place in everything that God has created us. This is our position. This is where God is going to bless us. This God is going to work on us. No matter ano yung trabaho natin ngayon, no matter what we feel right now, where we are, God is going to raise us up to become uh, a first place in all of His creation. And so, God is doing a lot of good things in our lives. If God is doing a lot of good things in our lives, you know, there would be a lot of things na we see it, we want it, that we need to what? That we could be able to overcome. So the third thing, because every good gift and every perfect presence come from heaven, that is why the third thing for us to do in order to overcome our temptation is to trust on the goodness of God. If we know that God is good, pag alam natin na every good thing comes from God and He never withhold those things, you know, we don't need to desire a lot of things. We need not to be envy of what we see. We don't need things that na, na nandun na, ay, dapat meron ako nun, o kaya dapat agawin ko yun. No. Because God is going to give it to us. No matter what, God is going to bring into our lives every good things and goodness that is beyond what we could think of. Let me tell you a story. In 1880, there was a Christian couple by the name of George and Sarah Clark. You know, they purchased and lease a place called the Pacific Beer Garden. Okay, yung inuman ng beer. Okay, and so they uh, purchased the list. Okay, they listed this uh, this play, this uh, this uh, this place, and after listing it, they dropped the word beer. Tinanggal yung beer, <laughs> and then ano yung uh, pinalit mission. So it becomes a Pacific Mission Garden. Okay, and so they started through this uh, itong lugar na to. They started a ministry. Okay, mission in the United States. Okay, among those who are uh, mga poor people, those who are in need, and so they would uh, uh, continue to to minister to lahat ng mga tao, mga homeless, mga alcoholic, and then yung mga people that is poor, so they would be able to find shelter, find food, find help in this place. Okay, and so 
you know, yung mga gastos nila, di marami, di ba? And so, so, the, uh, so, so eventually, the day came na they could not pay the rent, wala na. So, as they tried to secure yung fund, wala silang makuha. So, they were told okay, by the owner that they have only 24 hours before they have to pay that or else they would be what? They would lose yung list nila and uh, the Pacific Garden Mission would be closed. Okay. And so that night, before that uh, 24 hours come, that throughout the night, okay, Colonel and Mrs. Clark, they prayed asking God to guide them and to provide yung mga kapangailangan nila. And so when they come, they reminded God of all the needs of the people that surround them. And they proclaim na no matter what happened, they believe one thing, that their God is good and their God will provide for every need that they have. And so they trusted in God, they come before God, and they only trusted. Maybe they have think about a lot of different ways to solve this, but they choose one thing, to trust God and to see the goodness of God. Okay. And so as they went to sleep, okay, the next day when they awake, okay, they were surprised to see something. In their front yard, it was covered with something that is white. Mga puting puti. Something that instantly reminded them of yung mana sa Old Testament, di ba? Yung kinakain nila. And so, when they went out to sea, they discovered that their lawn was filled with a lot of mushrooms. And di nila alam kung how did they come out and when just uh, that, that, that morning, nandyan na. And so, it was a very good quality. Okay? So, mysterious, hindi nila na alam. So, what they did is, Okay, they put, uh, they, they harvest yung mga mushroom. If, even though at that time it was not a season for the mushrooms. So they gathered all those mushrooms and they, they went down the street and they started to sell them to mga houses, mga chef or house, Palmer house. Okay, yung mga uh, uh, high-end mga hotel. Okay, about yung mga kanila, yung mushroom nila. And so they were able to sell it and they were able to get a big, large price for it. And that large price was able to pay for yung rent nila, meron pang tira for them to use. And so they experienced something that is supernatural, that God has provided something that is good for them because they believe that in whatever they need, they don't need to seek outside of God, but they, they, they learn to trust in Him. They learn to trust the goodness of God. That is why God provided for them. My brothers, sisters, a lot of times, you know, we need good things. A lot of times we want things that we think now we need to work it out, we need to do it, we need to work uh, with everything that we have in order to get those good things. But James told us that every good thing comes from God. It comes from Abad. And then whenever we learn to trust in Him, you know, God is going to bring all those good things in His own time and that those good things will be able to bless us and we would be able to experience and enjoy the goodness of God. So, as we face a lot of mga temptation, it is because we always think that we need something in order for us to be filled or to be happy or to be, uh, to be able to be sustain us. But in reality, it is God who sustain us. It is God who gives us all the good things in life. It is God who provided for every need that we have. So, what do we do? We, don't, uh, ask, we need to ask the Holy Spirit to come and control all the desires and focus on the goodness of God and trust in Him because He is going to deliver. May God help us. So, how do we overcome the temptation which is universal, okay, which does not come from God, uh, which started from uh, yung desires natin and it leads to death? First, we need to be alert at all time. We need to always look around. Alam natin na every day marami yan. So, we need to be ready. Second, we need to walk with the Holy Spirit because the Holy Spirit would be able to help us okay, to control your mad desires so that it will not control us or it will not force us okay, to do something that uh, is not pleasing to God. Third, we need to trust on the goodness of God, that God is good. So we don't need to look for goodness in other places. We don't only need to come before God, wait that He will give us His goodness and He's going to deliver. May God help us. So why not let us close our eyes right now as we come before the Lord. James said that every good gift and every perfect present comes from heaven. 
You know, God has a desires. He wants to honor us because we belong to Him. And that He used His Word so that we might become first place among all His creatures. We would rise up above. Our level is different. Our position is different. And He's working. And He wants to bless us and honor us. But the world always pulls us down, telling us na you need to have this in order to feel blessed. You need to have this to be secured. You need to have this so that you would be able to live your life at ease or enjoy your life to the most. And a lot of times when we allow this uh, desires that is in us, you know, it controls us. It drags us away from what we are doing right now for the Lord. And it would always lead to something that is not pleasing to God. And at the end, it will birth death in us. And you would find out that our relationship with God parang malayo na. And we have been busy trying to fulfill, trying to run, trying to uh, accumulate something that uh, our desires has been uh, uh, dragging us and then controlling us. This morning, God wants us to know one thing. We don't need to allow our desires to control us because God has already promised His goodness. What we need to do is we need to be alert at all times. We need to let the Holy Spirit walk with us in every way, allowing Him, involving Him. And at the same time, we trust on the goodness of God. So as we close our eyes, why not let us pray right now? Pag-pray natin, sarili natin. Let us ask the Lord that we will be able to be empowered by the Holy Spirit so that there will be self-control. We would not allow our evil desires or our fleshly desires to get the upper hand to control us but rather we would be able to control them and to enjoy the goodness of God. I believe that as we are sharing this passage, God has has spoken to you in different ways. Just respond to the Lord right now in prayer. Let us pray right now. Hallelujah, Lord Jesus. Father, we come to you, Lord. We thank you for we know one thing. Lord, you know one thing. That uh, all that we need, Lord, is your goodness. Trust that you are good enough, Lord, to give us whatever we want or whatever we desire, Lord, and that will satisfy us. Father, help us, Lord, not to indulge or to, Lord, run after, Lord, what is in our hearts, thinking that it will bring something that is different in our lives. It will add up something for our pleasures. sisters, why not let us all stand up? Let us pray. Father, as we come before you, Lord, this morning, Lord, we thank you because you had promised your goodness. For you said that every good things, Lord, it comes from you. And that, Lord, you had promised us and you will deliver, Lord. Lord, a lot of times we face temptation because there are a lot of mga desires, Lord, that is in us, that has been controlling us and even, Lord, directing, Lord, the path that we take, the time that we use, Lord, and how we live our life. And the more, Lord, that we pursue yung mga desires namin, Lord, the more we fall into that temptation and the more, Lord, that it brings a lot of things Lord, that uh, you're not happy about it, that it doesn't please you, Lord. And the more that we would never be able to experience your nearness, the more that we feel that you are far away because sin always separates us from you. Father, this morning we come to you, Lord, as we bring our hearts to you. And as we ask, Lord, help us 
that you will come Lord and fill our hearts that you would be our desires and that you will come Lord and give us a self-control to be able Lord to control whatever is in our desires and that we would wait for your goodness to come Father we thank you because what you promise it is what you're going to do in our lives abundant life Lord a life of honor where you are working so that we might become first place Lord in all your creatures Father we thank you Lord as we close our eyes you know some of us maybe we struggle with some desire that is very strong we tried to uh, take it away but it's still there that drives us and there are desires that alam natin it is not right it's not healthy for us but still as if the strength the control is there this morning I just want to pray for some of us who struggle with it there's something in your heart there's some desires that in your heart that it is hard to let go and I want to pray that God will help you today to experience a new strength for you and then for you to see the goodness of God so if there's anyone among us said Lord I need you to help me to give me a strength to overcome this desire and to be able to see your goodness so that I will trust in you would you raise up your hand just want to pray for you right now yes I've seen that your hands you could put them down yes I've seen your hands yes I've seen your hand anyone else you said Lord I have this desire lust that is in me that is pulling me that is controlling me and I know that it is not your will and I want Lord for you to come and help me is there anyone else he said Lord give me the strength so that I would be able to control it and that I would be able to learn something to trust in your goodness why not let us pray right now let's raise up our hands Lord as we come before the Lord Father Lord as we come Lord raising our hands coming Lord and asking you Lord to come and touch us Lord touch the very palm of our hands for we need you Lord we need a new strength we need, Lord, the fruit of self-control so that, Lord, we will not gratify the sinful nature, but rather we will learn to trust in you, Lord, to trust in your goodness and to wait for your goodness to come. Father, Lord, we come against all those uh, power that has been working, the control, Lord, that is among us for those who have raised up their hands. Right now, in Jesus' name, Lord, I pray, Holy Spirit, bring upon them, Lord, a new strength. Lord, fill them, Lord, with uh, your fruit of self-control. And Lord, I pray that you will open their eyes to see that you are good, to see the many good things that you are doing in their lives, and that they will learn to trust in you, Lord, in every way and everything. Lord, as we stand before you right now, may you fill us and may you continue, Lord, to work in us so that, Lord, as we allow the Spirit of God, we will not satisfy or to uh, do, Lord, whatever that desires that is in us, Lord. But rather, we will be doing what you want. We thank you, Lord. And as we stand before you, may you bless each one of us. May the grace of our Lord Jesus and the love of the Father and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be among us until the day that Christ will come back and bring us into his glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 So before you sit down, why not tell the person beside you, God knows your desire. Salamat pong muli sa salita ng Diyos. Atin pong uh, inaanyayahan ang bagong kapatid na ngayon lang po dumating sa ating kalagitnaan. Maaari pong namin kayong hilingin na tumayo para nang sa ganun kayo po ay aming ma-recognize. Sonia Maramba. Welcome to the family and we encourage you to join us again next week, 9 o'clock. Let us stand and let us sing our welcome song.
Bless him.